Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, that last game against the mage was a bit of a roller coaster, but like a roller coaster, most of the dips up and down were early on, and the end of the ride was all steadily downhill. So, yeah. I'm, I'm sure I had some misplays, but I just mostly I'll, everything was coming at the wrong time. Everything. Nothing nothing worked out for me. Anduin versus I don't know what I was supposed to do the way the cards came. Motherboard had reasonably good answers to things. Okay, so Dark Cultist in the starting hand is excellent. Uh, we're going to pitch the Inventor. The Brewmaster has a drawback, but he's still pretty large for his cost, so I'm going to try and hold on to him. Double cultist. Problem is only is going to be if my opponent has a faster start. They really like. Well, the, the last time there was a like patch or something before, like not the expansion, like before that, it got harder to click on these guys. It's quite unfortunate. So probably got something. If he doesn't have a second turn play, then I'm going to be much happier. Sweet. I mean, he's probably going to hand a big nasty things to fight with mine. It's going to be rough. I, th I feel like it would have been rougher. Would have been rougher if he had been playing like a, a three two for two and just got me you know, going downhill. This guy is so cool. If you have the coin, you can put him out second turn. You have a four four. He doesn't give your opponent a card or anything. He's going to fight some stuff. It may be the wrong stuff, but he's going to fight some stuff. Well, that hurts. He's a very efficient use of that, and he's going to get more efficient use as I play more guys in the same sort of size category. I guess I'll just play the Brewmaster. You can take five damage and kill him at your leisure. That that weapon is going to help him get ahead, though, because now he can play a guy and have nothing on the board, whereas prior to that, I was going to have the only thing on the board, and that would give me a big advantage. Okay, uh, that's not good, but it could be worse. Uh, I can't quite afford to play a guy and villains chosen. I could just play the, I could just play this guy as a five-five, instead of playing one of these and doing nothing. You know what? I don't like losing his power, but I only have so many mechs. A five-five against the three-one seems like a better deal, right at this moment. Especially given that I have powers of healing and buffing and stuff like that. Ah, damn it! Ah, it's two damage for free, like no card. Wow, that is very annoying. Uh, I guess the thing to do is play a pair of these guys. These may be annoying, but these two guys are hopefully a little bit stronger. Although, if he, has a, if he has a whirlwind, he can go nuts. He'd go, well, he, he'd lose both his guys, but he could still t take them both out. No. He'd, he'd, okay, he'd have to set up so the whirlwind killed them both, which he can do. What? So, yeah. As long as they both died at the same time, he'd go, bam, bam, whirlwind, it would kill his remaining guy, but they would both die and get no bonuses. Otherwise, he's he's having this uncomfortable realization. It's like, whichever one he kills, the other one is going to become more of a pain in the rear. So what do you do? Ouch. Well, that sucks. He's got a cult master too? Uh, I am not very happy with like the way things have been working out lately. Really unpleasant. And he's got an inner rage to finish the job. Friggin' awesome. God damn it. Everything's dead, so I can't play the Sea Giant. This won't make it cheaper enough. God damn it. I could get this guy up to 8 hit points, which would technically sort of look like he could survive, but not really. Must consider. This with the buff would be a 4-5. Yeah, that's not going to do it. No, I guess that's going to be this. 
I don't like this move at all. This move seems all kinds of not good, but it's the best choice I have with this hand. Oh. Okay, well, his perfect weapon selection, has, along with his cult master to draw a billion cards, has clearly defeated me. Exact right weapon for every job. Awesome. I just can't get him cheap, like, as one for one. This is free if I was playing him, but I'm not going to be able to play him. At least these guys will feel like a waste when he's killing him with Gorahal, but they're also not going to do much damage back. Okay, I wasn't paying attention to that. He has actually done a horrendous amount of suicide damage to himself. So, I'm not doing as badly as it feels. It's still really bad. Like, all the cards he's been drawing from this are obnoxious. Shadow Boxer? That could work out okay. So we're gonna play him first, I guess, because he makes this cheaper. Well, it would be nice to attack with him first, but then I, this guy would have been more expensive. The chances of these two killing that when he does the damage are incredibly slim. Let's hit this draw card to I get. See, I could do that instead of the healing thing. Should I save this guy? Yeah, let's just do this. I hate to not get the healing out of him. Because he's going to get killed by a 3-3 or something. The odds, if I hit this, the odds of me actually killing him by healing myself are so small. It's like one in four. It's not worth... Yeah, no, we'll, we'll just play that. Hope he doesn't have a whirlwind or something. He's going to get to trade guys and draw more cards. Ah. Uh. Nobody likes the Shadow Boxer. He's, he's a very high priority kill. Cleave? God damn it. Everything's bad. Oh, he really doesn't necessarily want to gore howl this guy. He's got nothing worth stealing with mind control. He's thinking about it. He's going to take a lot of guys to get rid of this. But he, oh, he doesn't have enough unless he trades the actual Cold Master. That's the thing. But he can still trade one of the. He can still trade this, get a card, then use the Cult Master. I would do it probably. I, he's he's low enough. It is not worth taking all that damage to himself. I could have like Mind Blast or something. Is he gonna take three damage to take out her bubble? I guess. It's probably worth it. So what am I going to get? Circle of Healing, the least useful goddamn card I could get. I mean, I guess I could Circle of Healing and Mind Control a 3-5 taunt. Which would let me hit him and maybe stop some of his army. This is such a stupid play. He's got all those cards. But I'm in this situation again where I'm just like losing and losing. Now maybe he has a big thing that he's waiting to play. And I'll be very sorry, but... I'm just going to do this. Short term, it seems like an okay move. It's actually not good, but... Yeah, he can he can just gore hell this guy. He can heal himself effectively, so it's not that big a deal. I have another mind control in here. I probably wouldn't even have done that, but... I don't know. Oh, awesome. Yeah, just to taunt me. Fine. With my poor mind control decision. I hate sitting here when I have like nothing I can do though. I should have just waited because I still had the health and his army wasn't that great. But Gorhal out there looming over me, which of course killed a million things. I'm just doomed. Doomed again. If I'd waited and mind controlled him, I would have done better, but uh, not necessarily great. I still would have had, like, no creatures left or anything. 
I'm dead now. The lack of AoE is not helping. All these spell damage cards and no Holy Novas at all were ever offered to me. Yeah. Whether or not that was like a horrible decision or just like a mediocre bad decision, I don't think I could have gotten out of that. I think I was pretty screwed. Everyone's just got a better deck than I do is what it feels like. You know, he did have the perfect weapons at the right time. Yeah, he got early Gore Howl, and before that, his stupid bite or whatever was Death Bite was the perfect size to take out my incredibly good early army. And just stop my. I, I was going to have like a good roll, and he just stopped it dead with that one weapon. And then the Gorhal finished the job. There, there was no recovering from that. Ugh. Master Spell is not really a starting handy sort of card, although these guys are, so we'll see how they do. Do I want to coin something out? I don't think so. I think I'm okay with just this guy. I could coin out the Mech Warper. I don't have a mech to follow up with. But he, plus the Shrinkmeister, would probably be able to kill something. I, I don't know. I'm just going to take my chances with the Worgen. You can always choose to not attack if the situation is not good. Oh, god damn it. Really? Wow. I mean, I can't shrink him enough for my guy to live, but... I did luck out there. For once. Um, I guess we'll play the Mech Warper. Who knows, maybe I'll draw something. We're not going to waste this guy since he can't save it anyway. So she's got to be pissed off at that RNG. Don't worry, I'll have lots of RNG of my own to be pissed off about. Uh, tempted to coin mass to spell that guy. I mean, I this guy this would take two damage, I'd lose it, but I would draw a card. Otherwise, I'm not in the greatest position for dealing with that. You know what? It just because it just because it's irritating. <laughs> it's not a good play. My hands full of expensive stuff. I'm not going to get to cast, but it is pretty funny. You can stab my mech warrior, warper to death. It'll be fine. My mech warrior. At least it takes half her turn, but I'm not going to have a very good mana use next turn. Okay. Unstable Ghoul actually does okay against that. Is it worth trying, though? That's a lot of messing around, right? It kills him and barely dies, probably. And I heal myself for two. Or I could play her, but she could get stabbed. No, let, let, let's just play him. We'll stall for time. Because... This hand requires stalling. And she's demonstrated that she has just like a ton of cheap cards in there so far. Now maybe she just got all her cheap cards and she's going to have strong cards to kick my ass with, but... Okay, there we go. That That's an okay exchange. Okay, for one, it's fine. Shadow Boxer. Uh, I think we're going to want to save him, maybe. I mean, if I just play him, he's just going to get his ass kicked. For the crusade! <sighs> She's not going to live long enough to do anything, though. She's going to be, like, stab and then hit with that. But I can't, like, heal him. If I put him out, then he's going to draw some aggro, but still not going to get to keep anything alive. Hmm. No, it, he's unlikely to go crazy. But let's just play him. She can take him out, but this, together, her dagger and these guys shouldn't be enough. She should at least have to spend spells? I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, and then what? Maybe not killing him? That's not good. But, uh, hmm. So I could play this and get stuff, or I could just play the Sea Giant, because he's a Sea Giant. So far, my main plans for victory involve Sea Giant, although it'd be nice to be able to heal. I just don't have the mana to do it in a useful manner. So if I could heal my myself, or I could kill one of these to reduce the targets and heal him, there'd be a 1 in 3 chance he would kill the other, and he'd be at back at 3 health. There's a 50-50 chance he'd take two from this. It's, it's, just, it's not going to work out. Let's just play the Sea Giant. Because he's a Sea Giant. Right. Unless he's got an Assassinate. He's got a reasonable chance. And... I... Even though it dooms him to still not getting to make use of his awesome power, I, I might as well get him killed. I'm going to kill that because it's a mech. Normally you would kill her because, I don't know, theoretically she could get healed or something, but I'm going to kill the mech because she's got another mech here. Lots of stuff could go wrong. Killing something did increase the chances of him surviving, which is good. Sap, really? So he's going to cost six, five. Hmm. But now she's going to have enough stuff to take him out. Three, six, nine. Yeah, she's definitely going to have enough stuff to take him out now, which is unfortunate. I could play him first, which his ability will do nothing. It'll just be a 3-2 out there. And Sea Giant. I could play this. He'll draw me a card, and then he'll get his ass kicked. Like, there's a 50-50 chance that he takes two from this and then gets killed by her. Or otherwise, the other stuff will take him out. Nothing ever works out right. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with him. I, the Sea Giant can come out later, but this is enough stuff to kill the Sea Giant. I'd rather reduce that somehow. Yeah. Well, I wish I had the Shadow Madness. If I'd drawn that before him, things would be different. Could have at least traded this for that. Could I have done better somehow? It's iffy. Yeah. Really? You really? Things just work out better for my opponents lately. I had a big before the expansion. I had like a good a run of great games, but this is getting ugly. Technically, I could shrink something to Shadow Madness. It's unlikely to work out usefully. I could shrink one of these two and take control of them. So, like, I could take him and run up, run him up against that. But it takes half my mana, and I'm going to end up not much. Although, I can take one and then return it to my hand. I must consider. Huh. I wouldn't be able to do the killing, though. I could just take this and kill that. They would both die. That's pretty good. I wouldn't get to bounce one. That's like a silly plan, anyway. I mean, it's an awesome plan, but it's, it's math is unlikely to work out. So, yeah, do that, and then just Ancient Brewmaster, I guess. She's running out of cards. My big cards are going to come into play sooner or later if I don't get my ass kicked before then. But, I don't know. Stupid sap. That ghoul was scary. I don't know how many options you can have. There's a limited number of stuff on the board. Oh, man. You're just going to try and burn me down. That is not good. I can't mind control for another turn. Oh, boy. Uh, probably just dead, aren't I? I can 
Shrinkmeister this guy, kill him with this, who would survive. I can play the Sea Giant after I play the Shrinkmeister, but before I do that. Then I can heal this guy with the Circle of Healing, and then heal myself. Probably, I think I'll have enough mana. We're going to try it. Yeah. It is worth circle of healing him because it means he won't get killed by this. Oh man, this is kind of down to the wire. I have very few hit points, but it hopefully her one card won't do it. She's gonna assassinate, really? And she's gonna kill him. There's gonna be nothing good to steal. God damn it. Uh, what a mess. Like, stealing any of these guys is not going to work out because I can't steal him and then heal him. I'm going to take 8, 9 damage if I play these guys and heal myself. So it's quite possible. It, it wouldn't be hard for her to get a card that would kill me. Actually, this guy. So 13 minus. This is 8. That's 5, 4, 3, 2 if it hits me. We have 2 health. So he just needs a card that does 2 damage and I'm dead. But if I mind control him, yeah, I'm going to take less damage. I'll only be taking 4, 5, plus whatever is in her hand. But I can't heal myself, so I'd be down to 6. I'm not, I guess I'm not going to die if I'm down to six, and she's got to spend one of her guys killing this. Then I can play these guys. I don't know if I can stabilize, though. I'm going to have to try the mind control approach. I don't like that move, but the math said I was virtually dead if I just tried to play my own army. At least this way I took away one of hers, and she might have to spend something to kill him. Stealing that guy should improve my situation. You're not seriously going to attack him with that. Why wouldn't you use the Fairy Dragon? I guess because you have no cards and you're really worried about having enough army to kill me. So you're going to take the damage. That's fine with me, though. Although I can't heal myself. I'm still in a dangerous position, but stealing him seems like better. I have to anyway because I can't defend myself against him. So because he has taunt that's going to work out, but I, I, it still may not work out. I might have lost this anyway. She could kill him by stabbing him and attacking with this, but she doesn't want to do that unless she's got a really good card coming out that's going to beat me down. Wow, what has she got in her hand? I don't have any mind controls left. She's happy to just even things out like that? Okay. Well, I am going to heal myself. Play the Army of Darkness here. Go. I guess she didn't have much choice but to trade. That That's what I'm not thinking of. If her card didn't do the job, she had to kill the 5-4 taunt. It was non-optional. Uh, that's a pretty strong defensive measure right there. And you're hitting me for a lot of damage. So this is this is ugly. It's gonna get that's gonna help a lot. So we go boom, boom, major healing, more healing, and now it's game over. Unless you drew like a leg like some kind of legendary that will let you kill me right now. You just you need a card that does six damage instantly, and that's not it. Yay! That made me worried. I'm glad I did the math and mind controlled the four two. Mind controlling the four two seemed like a crappy play. But just working out the consequences with the math, my hit point total was going to be 2. If I took him, it was going to be 6, and she had less stuff. It was definitely the way to go. So I got... I'm not, I didn't do as bad as the last run, but I'm still not quite up to 
I don't know if I'm not choosing well for the current environment or if I've just been unlucky, but I definitely was doing a lot better before the expansion came out. Well, let's see how much further I can get next time. If you enjoyed this, please activate the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.